Dr. Kramer, there, there's been a lot of discussion at this symposium about Wolbachia and the effects it has on filarid worms. Can you tell us a little bit about why it's such an important bacterium? Yeah. This, um, this bacteria, these bacteria actually, were discovered um, about 10, 12 years ago as being what is known as an endosymbiont, in not only in heartworm, but in several filarial uh, nematodes and in different parasites that affect animals and humans. These bacteria are essential for long-term survival and for reproduction of heartworm. And so they were discovered as a new target for uh, heartworm therapy, for treatment, and in particular also for the role it plays in the pathogenesis of disease because what we do know is that when heartworms die, we know when heartworms die that they can cause thromboembolism, we know that they can cause pulmonary inflammation, and what we have seen is that if we take Wolbachia away from the worm, not only is it detrimental for its long-term survival, but we see a very clear uh, uh, benefit and improvement in post-adulticide treatment in terms of pulmonary inflammation. So uh, dogs feel better. So a very, very important uh, part of the heartworm life cycle, actually. I would think, you know, the research, more, the most recent research has been showing us that if we take Wolbachia away from heartworm-infected dogs through antibiotic treatment, not only are we taking away some of the detrimental and pro-inflammatory effects following worm death, but we're very likely also blocking the transmission of the parasite because what we see is that microfilarial counts go down very, very quickly, and the few microfilaria that do remain circulating in the dogs will very likely not develop within the mosquito vector. So as an also new potential for blocking the transmission also of those potentially uh, 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 resistant strains that we've been seeing more recently. 